I got a, I got an email back from we did a blast for the DC 101s today. Hey everybody, welcome <laughs> back to another episode of Small Business 101 that the table shakes. About you. I got a blast of the table shakes a lot. It does shake because yeah. you pound on it so much. No. We're talking about interruptions today, right? Exactly. That is correct. So. Today's topic is interruptions. Like if a table shakes and you notice it and can't film a Small Business 101 episode. Right. So it's how to be, like, I mean, the general concept is just office productivity um, and interruptions and how the slightest, smallest interruption can just get you off track completely. What are you doing? What? We're talking about something? <laughs> so interruptions cost the workplace or businesses, whatever you want to call it, 588 you want to call that billion thing. Dollars. Is it billion with a B? Yeah. Wow. In the U.S. Wow. Um, and lost. I would imagine it's just in lost productivity. I mean, define that interruptions, right? What, right. What's a common like? People probably don't realize like what constitutes an interruption. So we have a it, this kind of. I love this is actually. I like this conversation because it pushes in so many different areas. We have an open work environment, right? Door open policy. And it's like, we talked about this on many other episodes, door open policy and open work environment and everyone together and, you know, collaboration. Um, oh, that other crap. <laughs> and it's great, but this is the downside is the interruptions. My doors most of the time always open, 99.9% .9 of the time. And I'll be working on something focused in like this tunnel vision, right, after half an hour and then Joe will come in. And, it's always Joe. Uh, he'll be like, oh, hey, uh, you got something to do. Oh, anime. I saw anime over the weekend. And uh, it's like, yeah, I got a second. And then we, so we talk for. <laughs> oh, I always say, oh, I'm very busy, Joe. I can't talk to you. So we talk for, you know, 20 minutes. And now that 20 minutes turns into a lot, an hour of lost production. Because not only did I spend 20 minutes talking to Joe, but then I have to remember what I was doing, get back into the groove, reread a couple things maybe where I was, find my place in the project, and you know, that turns into a whole process. So a whole if we book. got rid of Joe, would that make no. you more productive? Because you interrupt me, interrupt me more. That's my joke. Yeah. <laughs> if if you watch these videos, you'll yeah. see that's true. But, um, so, and this is, um, again, we're actually interrupting uh, AP right now, and she was- You guys know the, who AP is? Yeah, she's over there. Uh, she was in the middle of work and we film in her office and we're completely interrupting your day. So this is probably resulting in about an hour worth of lost production. Wow. It adds up. Yeah, she'll be here at 7 o'clock tonight. Richard, one of the other co-founders and um, he's CIO or something here. CTO. Uh, CTO. One of those fancy titles. Um, he actually recently realized that this was a huge problem for him. Just personal interruptions of like reading stuff online. So he would be working, but on another monitor, he his third monitor or something, he had Reddit open or a stock website, and he would read the title or the headline, and then while he was in the middle of you know some high focus work or whatever, and he would get distracted, and he actually tallied all of this up and counted by looking through his internet history how many hours he wasted in a day, and he said two to three hours a day he was had wasted on just non-work stuff by getting distracted, reading articles, answering a stupid Slack message or personal email. Um, so he went cold turkey and just stopped doing, stopped it all 100%. He said he's, there's a night and day difference on how much more work he's gotten done since he's done that. Hmm. So. Um, and Alan did something too, didn't they? Didn't they have like a two and five rule or something like that for every two minutes of distraction? Remember this? He was doing this for a while? That was a joke. I know, but I want to For every two out. minutes of distraction. Distract, he took a five minute break. He spent five minutes on Reddit. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but one of the, I guess the tip here is to really set aside a block of time for the day um, that is interruption free, that is pre scheduled interruption free work time. Now, this applies to obviously only specific positions, like I was saying out there. This doesn't really apply to sales reps. Yeah, it's um, actually funny. There's studies that show like people with ADD mm -hmm. make the best sales reps because your ability to like yeah. do something else immediately. Yeah. Right? Like I'm the poster child for ADD. We all know that in this room. Right. But there's, and that's why I'm a great salesperson. Um, there's, yeah, there's studies that show that like constant interruption is actually good for salespeople. Yeah. And that's, I mean, so with sales team, this doesn't apply to with somebody like, Emily constantly writing blogs and writing content. You said it this morning that um, you everyone the sales team was training somewhere else, so there was no 
noise. There was nothing, no distractions. She was able to write something that probably took her three or four times the amount of time when there was enough, when there was all these distractions going on. So when the sales team here, it's a problem. Well, when they're not, everyone's more productive. So it's like this fine line you have to walk on how, what it, an open door policy and an open work office plus still getting stuff yeah, done. Yeah, because the opposite of that, right? Like when it's, when it's super quiet mm -hmm. and everyone is super focused, the right. sales team is not performing. Yep. Right. So we, as the sales team, need that like level of like distraction right. and like high energy right. that Emily clearly doesn't need. I mean, imagine if like AP's door, Pops. your door, my door, Joe's door, and Emily's door was shut all day. That would be so. Everyone would be like, it would probably create this like weird environment where everyone would think everyone was in a bad mood, and it would probably be this negative impact on everyone out there. So yeah, there's like just that, and we would not be in the greatest moods because we're just isolating ourselves from everybody. So I think the best solution is block off time. That's it. Block off. Shut your door. Mal yes. Block off time to put be your phone on the other side of the room. I my phone's silent all day every day, so that's why I miss everybody's phone call, and that helped tremendously since I've done that. But um, like Slack, we use Slack in the office. That text. is constantly you know causing interruptions. So like muting your Slack muting notifications on your email and shutting your door and just really getting tunnel vision those. <laughs> yeah well when i do it i can just know i get in that hour or two hours that i do that i get an entire day's worth of work done yeah so huh. moral of that story yeah stop engaging with the world find a perfect balance of it yeah that's all you got to do is find your nice balance yeah so wow. that's it Wow, what a great tip. We're, there's an amazing blog post being published on this. <laughs> she wrote it today with all her free time. By Emily. Yeah, with all the time uh, she saved. So she did this huge post in such a short amount of time because she just shut herself off to the world. The sales team wasn't here to distract her. Exactly. More of that story, get her the sales team in general. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Go be productive. Stop watching these videos and getting whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Easy killer. Easy killer. Always watch these videos. See but you next as time. always, see you next week.